Hi everyone. In this video, I will teach you how to create this product carousel. You can add more than one carousel to any page and change its theme according to your preference. This carousel is fully responsive and works well on mobile devices. The user can swipe it forward and backward with a touch. If you are a subscriber of mine, you know that I have made a video before about how to make a carousel. In that video, I converted the default WooCommerce blocks into a carousel. The advantage of the new method is that it is completely independent of the WooCommerce blocks. It is very easy to use, and you can add more than one carousel to each page with a short code. Let's get started. I will put the link to this post in the video description. First, copy this code so that we can insert it into WordPress later. To insert this code into WordPress, we can paste it into the functions file of our child theme. If you are not using a child theme, watch the first video of the channel, where I have taught how to create a child theme. Another way is to use plugins that insert code into WordPress. I use the free version of the Code Snippets plugin. After installing and activating this plugin, select Add New from the Snippets menu. Here I paste the code that I copied earlier, write a title for it and save and activate it. Now I create a new page to put the carousel shortcode in it. You can copy the shortcode from the first line of the code and paste it into the shortcode block and publish the page. That's how easy it is to add a product carousel to the page. By changing the card attribute, you can adjust the number of product cards. I set it to 5. With the number attribute, you can limit the number of products that are loaded. This option is very suitable for stores with a large number of products. The default number is 10 products. By setting the sale badge to off, you can hide the sale label for the products that are discounted. The rating attribute is for showing or hiding the rating of each product. If you set the description attribute to on, the short descriptions of the products will be displayed.
If you want the out of stock products not to be displayed, set the check stock attribute to on. Here the socks are out of stock and they are no longer displayed after changing the check stock. If you want only the discounted products to be displayed, set the on sale attribute to on. I only have one discounted product in my store. If you want to display products from a specific category, write the ID of those categories in the cat's attribute. To get the ID of the product categories, select categories from the products menu. By clicking on each category you will find its ID in the address bar. In my store, the ID of the shirt's category is 36. If you want to display more than one category, separate their IDs with a comma. The type attribute accepts two modes. If you set it to featured, only the featured products will be displayed. The featured products are those that are marked with a star in the products section. If you set the type attribute to best selling, the products will be sorted by the number of sales. Let's also take a look at the plus version of this code. You can join WP Cookie Plus and get full access to all my codes, as well as support this YouTube channel. I copy this code and replace the previous one. Now I also add this short code to the page. In the plus version, two options autoplay and theme have been added. As you can see, the theme of the carousel has changed. If you set the theme attribute to 1, the carousel theme will return to the standard one. That's it. If you are new here and liked this video, subscribe to the channel and check out my other videos, you will surely like them too. And if you are a subscriber, smash the like button so that the video gets more views on YouTube. Have a great day.